a very unserious, unhinged person was just elected president of the United States. And that job requires that you are the boss of a lot of different things. And then you appoint sub bosses to be the boss of different things. One of the biggest issues is the Department of Defense. It is a very serious job. It has a bunch of very serious weapons. It has very serious uh, life implications, world stability implications about it. Let me just play a little video for you and the viewer um, as to who Donald Trump thinks would be best to lead this department. A well-groomed militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms while smelling great shall not be infringed. I don't mind those tweaks. You see, one man army loves the country and makes damn good soap. I've used them all and I love these new brands like Gunsmoke, smells like American firepower, or Gurkha, refined bourbon and tobacco leaf, or how about Patriot and the Pine Tar Bar? There's more of them too. You can get them in a variety pack. Each of them shaped like a grenade, soap on a rope. The well-groomed militia this 4th of July Join it at GrenadeSoap.com. <laughs> I mean, this is, is this a joke? It feels like a joke. Like my initial response to his appointment was kind of chuckling, like that's a complete mess. What an idiot. And then the ramifications set in and it's extremely chilling. So this guy's name is Pete Hegseth and Trump is now shopping for his cabinet <laughs> based on people that um, are either Fox News journalists, appear on Fox, are sociopaths, just basically whoever can be loyal, not loyal to the Constitution, oh, heavens not loyal to what is best for the United States of America, who can be loyal to him, a man who doesn't even have the decency to blend his makeup for <laughs> all to see. Here's another grift that this guy did. Yo, Independence Day is almost here. We're getting ready in the Hegseth household. We celebrate America, old glory, and the freedoms our forefathers fought to establish. Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, the right to bear arms, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know the thing, as Joe likes to say. We also know we're one nation under God. There are a lot of folks trying to divide us right now, but we know who we are. We love God, our families, and our republic. Your support of veteran-owned, American-made, anti-woke companies like Palmetto State Armory, Caliber Coffee, Right to Bear Self-Defense, and AAC Ammunition keeps us strong at home. We vote with our feet and our dollars to stay free. To that end, AAC just rolled out a new line of AK-47 ammo. That's right, because Russian ammo is now banned. So now you can buy American-made 762. That's what I'm talking about. Check the text below for more info. I mean, this guy is a complete buffoon. But you know what? This is the exact same thing Trump's been doing right. for the last four years. These riffraff, knick-knack grift th to these people who think, if I buy this, I'm showing everyone that I'm an anti-woke patriot. What's interesting to me is, when is the conflict between the grifting going to start? Like, Trump has now selected somebody for his cabinet that's as what admires his grifting ability. What if this guy's grift gets as big as Trump's? But what's so scary about this is everything he says, like you said, it's not serious. And I have read in researching him that he's been in charge of some different organizations, nonprofits, and money has been distributed in very colorful ways. Well, and I think he also, in a video, um, said that he doesn't think women should serve in the military. I mean, this is just, they use this whole woke thing as, and I think if you asked a lot of Trump voters, what does woke mean? Nobody knows. And the reason they've done this is because they used to demonize the word liberal. Oh, it's bad to be liberal. It's bad to be liberal. Now everybody's kind of liberal, you know? So then they've moved on to this woke thing. And I mean, what is that? What you care about equality? Is that what being woke means? I mean, whatever. And everybody's making a big thing, both on the left and the right of the word, but they've used it to weaponize it. But it, here's just how stupid and I mean stupid this man is. Listen to him on Fox. I don't think I've washed my hands for 10 years. 
<laughs> really, I don't. Uh, I, I don't really wash my hands. Someone help me! No, oh, no, no. I, I inoculate myself. Uh, it's just not germs oh, are not yeah, a real thing. True. I can't see them, therefore they're not real. So you're becoming immune to all of the all the exactly. bacteria. Exactly. I can't get sick. Okay, here's the deal. I don't care if people talk like that. I don't care. I mean, I don't. I don't judge any of that. My problem is that person should not be the Secretary of Defense. That's where I draw the line. Like when I think about people that are in charge of us, I need to think about people that, especially in that position mm -hmm. are apolitical, um, have uh, experience managing things, especially something as large as the Department of Defense for the United States of America, people who see uh, the value in both men and women. We've had a lot of brave women serve. So if he wants to talk about hand washing, whatever, I'm not going to, you know, clutch my pearls over that. The issue is you don't see serious military people that when they're in the public behaving that way, you don't see them grifting. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, military people that served under Trump's first term were probably too conservative for my taste, but they believed in the Constitution. They believed in the seriousness of the job. The, the people that are surrounding Trump right now, this is all cosplay time. Right. But at everybody else's detriment, I this is the weakest the weakest administration I've ever seen, because I guarantee you, Putin, mm -hmm. she, and all of these dictators are watching that dying, laughing, thinking, look at <laughs> who they put in charge of the weapons. Look at who they put in charge of the bombs. Finally, we have defeated American freedom, constitution, and capitalism. This is a huge victory for all of our adversaries. Pumps, I love to eat clean, but I cannot stand going to the store, nor do I have the time, nor am I able to make the proportions as to how much I need to buy. And I always end up either underbuying or overbuying. That's why I love Green Chef. What I love so much about Green Chef is it's pre-cut vegetables, pre-made sauces, and there's organic produce in every box. Listener, Green Chef is the number one meal kit for clean eating, so you can feel good about creating good-for-you meals with limited processed ingredients. Save yourself time meal planning, shopping, and prepping. Everything you need to make delicious meals is included. Plus, the ingredients are not only high quality, but they come pre-measured and prepped, including pre-made sauces and some pre-cut produce. Every week, you'll find menu options for every lifestyle, Mediterranean to customizable plant-based options and certified gluten-free recipes. Listener, go to greenchef.com slash IHIP50 and use code IHIP50 for 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next two months. That's code IHIP50 at greenchef.com slash IHIP50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next two months. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. I keep going back to the thought of he and Trump in the situation room. And there are real threats in the Middle East, Ukraine, all, you know, all around the world. We have serious issues that require diplomacy, military strategy. And I think these are the guys in the situation room. And it horrifies me. Like, I'm scared when I picture them in the situation room talking about retaliation or a covert attack. I mean, it's terrifying. This guy's a war hawk. I mean, there's a lot of clips that I've seen online of him talking about bombing Iran. And it's all this tough machismo. Um, we have to be battle warriors first and foremost. This guy has also um, convinced Trump to pardon yes. uh, military soldiers that just recreationally killed um, Iraqis, um, like teenagers and like civilians. And um, so... This is this is so incredibly dangerous. And this is this whole thing from the moment we found out he won. He hasn't even taken off in office yet. This is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse with every pick. Now, Congress has to approve 
these people, and it's my understanding that Trump still hasn't signed some documents regarding honoring ethics and right. whatnot in order to receive classified information. So I hope that what guardrails remain, I hope stay intact. And I hope that there are some Republicans that can join forces with Democrats and say, this guy ain't it. Right. This is a guy who they're going to be like, what did they say about us? Let's bomb them. Right. It's going to be recreational, like game playing. And everybody is going to lose this. It, it, the economy, everybody voted for the economy. This is not good for that. Stability, American stability is good for the economy. What he is going to propose to do with an unhinged Trump and you know, you've got Stephen Miller, and it's just only a matter of time before the even more ridiculous buffoons, you know, the My Pillow guy, Steve Bannon, Steve Bannon, Cash Patel. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they pierce the bubble and they're in there. And we're up a shit creek without a paddle. Absolutely. And I hear what you're saying about the confirmations that are required by the Senate. But what worries me about that is Trump is already advertising he's only going to back a leadership leadership position in the Senate that doesn't require confirmation for his picks. So I am concerned. So we're going to find out who in this country is serious about governing and then who is serious about self-enrichment. And I just think there have been a lot of whispers all on the Republican side now for well over a decade. Oh, yeah, this senator is friends with Putin. Mm -hmm. This congressman is friends with Putin. And they whisper about it and they shush it. And nobody ever takes it seriously. But he has infiltrated. I mean, Hillary Clinton said Tulsi Gabbard is compromised by Russia. She said it. And then what happened? Who, where does Tulsi Gabbard find herself with all the other people who are Putin's sycophants? So this is like the clown show at the top, but behind it are all of these darker, more nefarious forces that nobody's ever really dealt with. Right. So, all right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. It's so entertaining to have the vein. So